Dear students, in this lecture, we shall learn about the application of partial derivatives on the cross price elasticity of demand, which is a very commonly used concept in economics. Let us see. As you know that we need to have a notation for the cross price elasticity of demand, so we have chosen epsilon c, where c stands for cross price. And epsilon is a Greek letter that shows the value of elasticity. Now, we should uh, get the certain formula of this concept. That is, the ratio of the percentage change in the demand of one good and the percentage change in the price of the second good. If we can take the ratio of these two variables, we can get to the elasticity which is in actually the cross price elasticity of demand. In specific terms, this is the formula which shows the cross price elasticity of demand. You can see this is the first good, the quantity of it, and this is the second good, the price of it. Hence, cross is used, you know, the effect of one variable related to the other variable. And vice versa. So, we can rewrite it in a number of ways. For example, we have expanded this percentage change by writing this expression. And percentage change of price is also expanded into this expression, where delta Q1 is the change in Q and Q1 is the initial value of Q. Same stands for this expression. Now, we can further rearrange it by getting rid of this division sign and reciprocalizing the values in the numerator. So, this expression turns into this version of the expression. Now, that further can be written where we are noting the changes separately as compared to the original values on the other side. Now, we can Convert this multiplication into this division and ye is reciprocalize ho jayegi. And now we have a certain pattern because this is actually the marginal function and this is the average function. This is actually the marginal demand function and this is the average demand function. So this is the ratio of marginal demand function and average demand function. Now we come to that point where we shall apply the partial derivatives in order to find the answer for cross price elasticity of demand. This is the explanation and 1 and 2 actually are showing the uh, good 1 and good 2 where good 1 is being used for its quantity and good 2 its price is being used in the calculations. Now, this is an elaborated demand function. As you can see, price of its own and the price of the other good, that is a related good, and the income, three variables that are independent variables, are explaining the effect on QD1. Here, Y is representing income and P2 is price of substitute. In advance, we have guessed that this is a substitute. Hai. And that is not just a guess. It is an educated guess. Wo is tarike se, because substitutes ke saath positive sign hote hain. Aur jab hum baat karte hain, complements ki price ke saath sign ki, to wo negative hote hain. So, ye positive sign basically hume guide kar raha hai, ke jo related good hai, ye actually substitute. Now, this is the formula that we just learnt. Aur this is the demand function that we we're talking about here in general terms. Here we are having a specific form of it. Because now we have numerical values. Hai. PB is there, PM is there, and Y are there. Having their coefficients, the coefficients they are there as well, and the intercept is there as well. We know the value of Y, and we know the value of PB, and we know the value of PM as well. Now we can take the partial derivative with respect. Now we shall take the partial derivative 
of the demand function with respect to price of mutton that is represented with PM. Uh, you can calculate this derivative and you can verify this answer 1.5 he have. That you can do by pausing the video. Now you can also find the value of QB which was given nahi and we need to put it in the formula. And that is very easy because you will put the uh, price of B and you will put the value of uh, price of mutton and you will also put the value of income. If you do this, you will pass QB ki numerical value aage ki, which can be readily substituted here and we can get the results. So you can see that EC is now found to be 0 0.03 which is the first thing is a positive value which we can verify that we are dealing with substitutes when the price of one good changes and the effect on the quantity demanded of another good is positive it means that there is a substitute so it is proved here that we are dealing with a substitute and the magnitude, if we talk about the magnitude, then this is a value one se kafi choti hai. It means ke effect is very small. The effect of the percentage change in the price of mutton is very small on the percentage change of the quantity demanded of beef. Yahan par it would be relevant ke agar hum baki possibilities ko bhi list down kar le. EC is less than zero when we talk about complements. And EC that is the cross price elasticity of demand is zero when the goods are unrelated because there is no relationship between the unrelated goods, their quantities and definitely their prices. So in this way, we can calculate the cross price elasticity of demand by using partial derivatives and we can talk about their interpretation. Thank you.